Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Thursday, March 23rd. Tesla has launched a new extended service warranty for their vehicles that can be purchased straight through the mobile app. Tesla has an existing warranty for the powertrain for eight years or 120,000 to 150,000 miles, depending on the model. As for the rest of the vehicle warranty, it's fairly standard, and they have actually occasionally offered extended vehicle warranties in the past. Today, the automaker has launched a new offering, and it's selling it directly through the app. The extension covers a period of two years or 25,000 miles, whichever occurs first. Each model costs a bit different, ranging from 1800 for the Model 3 and 3500 for the Model X. Tesla told employees that it expects to lose the full $7,500 federal tax credit on the cheapest electric car that they offer. Now, the reason is the battery sourcing. When the new full tax credit program was announced, it included a requirement for batteries to be produced in North America and battery material sourcing to come from countries that the U.S. has free trade agreements with. The guidance on how these requirements would work has actually been delayed until this month. And now sources familiar with the matter say that Tesla has communicated to employees that Tesla expects the IRS to release the guidance any day now. And as a result, they say that the Model 3 standard range, the cheapest vehicle, will, will not qualify in the near future. The Tesla Model 3 used prices are now down 21.5% since last year's peak. On average, the used price of Tesla's cheapest vehicle is down by more than $11,000. iccars.com has been tracking used car prices and reports that the national average has fallen 4.7% over the last six months. And the Tesla Model 3 is leading the pack. Last year, things got quite out of control, but now you can find some decent used electric cars. It's not completely easy, but it is doable. This week's episode is sponsored by SAE International, hosts of the WCX World Congress Experience event. For 2023, WCX is set to return to Detroit from April 18th to 20th at Huntington Place. As the largest technical mobility event in North America, WCX brings together thousands of engineers, suppliers, and mobility professionals to exchange ideas, discuss today's challenges, and build powerful relationships to move your career and the industry forward. Join the global mobility community in the Motor City this April to stay up to date on the latest technological advances, participate in roundtable discussions, and network with the brightest minds in the industry. Gain a competitive advantage and meet the people shaping the future of mobility. Visit wcx.sae.org to register now. Tesla's supercharger locations are now being integrated into Rivian's navigation system. Rivian actually has a similar approach to Tesla when it comes to charging, as Rivian has their own Rivian-branded adventure charging network. Most other automakers rely on third-party networks, and that has various success rates. Rivian is still early in the development of their own network, with only two dozen stations in operation up till now. Therefore, Rivian owners still have to rely on third-party networks, but they've now added Tesla's supercharging network into the mix. It's going to be quite helpful, as more Tesla stations are now offering service with the CCS connector. Ford Motor has revealed that it expects its EV offshoot, Model E, to lose billions of dollars this year as it scales to production. To catch you up to speed, last year Ford announced that it is separating its electric vehicle and internal combustion businesses into two different units. The blue division will focus on internal combustion vehicles, and the Model E unit will focus on EVs. But now Ford is putting some detail onto the new unit's investment cost, saying that the Model E electric vehicle business lost $2.1 billion in 2022 and $6 billion from 2021 to 2023 as they were ramping up production. The automaker expects losses to expand this year, with another full year loss around $3 billion. Meanwhile, by late 2026, Ford expects their EV business to turn a pre-tax profit. I can't tell you how many times I've personally had a pre-tax profit. Then I do the paperwork and wind up in the red. Volkswagen Group sub-brand Cupra has been market testing the United States. The Volkswagen Group subsidiary currently only sells one electric vehicle called the Cupra Born. 
but it will soon be joined by the all-electric Tavascan compact SUV, as well as the upcoming hatchback, the Urban Rebel. Cupra has expanded to new markets outside of Western Europe and has actually had multiple all-electric models with their production pipeline in Spain grow out to recognition as its own standalone EV brand. But now, per the automaker's CEO, markets in North America, particularly the U.S., could offer a new group of consumers for these larger EVs. While Cupra is merely testing the waters in the U.S., the CEO did say that the initial feedback has been promising. A recent study by J.D. Power found that EV owners have become increasingly frustrated with their home charging experience for several reasons, including higher electricity rates and charging speeds. The study also shows only 51% of EV owners had knowledge of their utility company's programs to assist with home charging costs. For the owners who were stuck at level 1 charging, satisfaction improved significantly when moving to a level 2 charger. Scheduling the charging time also increased charging satisfaction, with the highest being among them on the vehicle's mobile app. As far as home charging units, the highest rank belonged to Tesla. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Kumi Ori Farm says, Hey Mikey G, are you a bicycle mechanic? Looks like a very good set of blurry park tools behind you. Well, to answer your question, yes, that is a set of blurry park tools used for bicycle repair. I had a hodgepodge set of tools some years ago, and although they were quite authentic, the videos I made looked comically busy. The X-Lynx Morocco UK Power Project, as it's called, will be connected exclusively to the UK. It's like resource colonization, but this time for green energy. So I got this set of tools, both to use on bicycles and also I was motivated by the uniform appearance for the sake of videos. I also have some lights, but today I went with the sunshine appearance. Perhaps I'm looking forward to the warm weather so I can finally use the majority of my bikes once again. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.